My baby had just taken some moment and said, I love you. And then right after that, it happened. <sighs> I haven't pulled out a camera in some time now. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm looking real rough, just got off the plane. Just touched back down in Texas. It's been so much going on. Y'all know we ain't absent just because every time food pre absent, it gotta be something going on in our life, negative or positive. Just tired. I'm just so tired. And I know y'all tired of me or us or whatever just coming to the camera and just telling y'all like stuff that's going on in our life. But when you ain't got nothing else to talk about or nothing else to put on this channel, y'all. You gotta just keep it real. Like, you gotta just come on here. Just please don't mind how I look. I really genuinely, deep in my heart, don't care. Y'all can see I'm by myself. Um, my baby is still in Miami. And this is the first time since we started living together three years ago that we have been apart. And this is going to be so hard for me, y'all. And I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm going to take y'all along with me every day. Y'all got to understand I ain't got no family up here. I don't really kick it with a lot of people. So it's a situation where I'm really alone. <sighs> because she got to be there for her mom now. We was brief on what's going on and you know what I'm saying? Like, I just I just never thought I'd be talking like and saying this stuff that I'm about to say in today's video. Um, why is these blinkers on? Uh, I'm just, I'm just every, I'm just everywhere right now. So we was in Miami for a week because we got a call saying that pre-mom, Miss Crystal, y'all know pre-mom. And if you don't know who pre-mom is, you gotta be new to the channel. Just go back and watch the videos. But she's in the hospital. She's in the ICU. Now, um, the ICU was very, very serious. So the ones that's not educated on stuff pertaining to the hospital, just Google it or something. But she's, it's just, she is fighting right now. That's all I'm gonna say. Her mom is fighting and I just need everybody who support Fruit and Pre to please uplift my wife, just uplift her family. Just please, in this time right now, y'all, it's just so much. And it's breaking my heart because that's my mom-in-law. Like, if y'all go back, like, we don't been through so much stuff, y'all. Like, we don't became so close. Like, me, Miss Crystal, Josie, like, y'all, we done traveled. Y'all, y'all just gotta understand. Like, I don't play about my mom-in-law. Like, she's literally my second mom. When I go through stuff, she's, like, my second mom that I could just lean on and just talk to. Y'all, just see, we just got married. And exactly one month from our marriage, this happened to Miss Crystal. So, but I'm gonna tell y'all that it's a very serious situation. You know what I'm saying? But God works miracles. God works wonders. So we can't just, we just know that God is good, bro. If you believe in God, then you know like times like this, you can't, you can't lose hope because bro, she's progressing. Like even if it's not the craziest progression, she's progressing. We see some sense of progression. Um, and I'm just really hurt behind it, y'all. I'm so, 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 so hurt behind it because we was just sitting on the phone with them all the time, just call them every day. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. We don't really have a lot of friends. So y'all gotta understand, we tight with my wife, moms, both of them, like Josie and Miss Crystal. We tight with both of them. Both of them get phone calls and they both sit on the phone. We all talk and even just being around each other for holidays, y'all, like they're my family, you know what I'm saying? So it's really hurtful because that's my mom. At this point, that's my mom and nobody can't tell me nothing. So like I said, um, the reason why I had to um, leave my wife behind, I wanna speak on this because I know it's gonna be a lot of comments. I really just hate this ponytail. I know it's gonna be a lot of comments. Um, asking so why did you leave so why did you leave okay so i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with y'all when we got the call pre was so out of it y'all her mom imagine you get a call your mom's in icu fighting for her life my baby booked a flight that same day like it was no it was no hesitation y'all we ain't gotten we ain't bring no clothes that we couldn't think about none of that like we just had to go like she was just going crazy she was panicking pre have really bad anxiety a lot of people don't know that on the channel because we don't talk about it a lot we don't really speak on her anxiety a lot on here because she was doing better with it but when it's triggered it's triggered you know what i'm saying so my baby just booked the flight my baby ain't even pack us a toothbrush in the back it's just it's just an honest we just being honest right now y'all you know what i'm saying i'm not finna see her a lot of y'all she didn't pack nothing no deodorant no nothing my baby it was her mama and i was completely understandable and supportive because at this point that's my mama too so we wanted to get down there so y'all the reason why i say this is because when we left we had to leave queen behind 
Now, y'all know we love Queen. We done had a lot of dogs, but that's our baby. So, we left up in how. So, I'm sorry that the video cut off, but um, I just made it home. And, <sighs> y'all, I'm just, it just, it just seemed like the devil be so busy. And, y'all, we are good people. Like, like, we don't do nothing to nobody. We stay in our lane. We stay in our place, bro. We just, it just be me and her. So, it's like. I don't understand why stuff keep happening, y'all. This is the, like, literally last month we was just in Miami because my great-grandma died. And now we down there because pre-mom is in ICU. And it's just, I just done cry so much that I just can't cry no more. I never realized that I really loved my mother-in-law. Like, it's like I say it, you know, I be like, I care about her. Like, you know, I really care about her. Like, she my family. But when... It happened, like, I realized that I really love this lady. Because <sighs> it hurted me to my core, y'all. It was really, like, a broken heart. Like, dang. Like, I felt it in my chest. And, um, yeah, the reason why I had to come back home is because, like I said, Queen, we left her. So, within that circumstance, like, she can't be out there for no long time. Like, we left her out there with so much food, so much water, y'all. We just had, we had it all. Like, we had, like, a big old thing of food, like, it was like a, a pool field of water, like, but I just, she just barked, she just cried all night, and the neighbors was getting so sick of it, to the point that they started complaining, y'all, and our trash can had done fell on the floor, the people to the trash house, so it just looked like the property just had been abandoned, and it really wasn't the case, so I had to come back to make, the, make sure things are straight, because I don't need her stressing out, because the people is complaining, so I just had to handle up. it was a situation where I had to make this decision, I had to go, and before y'all say, oh, fool, why are you coming to the camera? Y'all, my wife already told me that she wanted me to come to the camera because y'all had already been texting her saying, oh, um, please, um, sorry to hear what's going on. So she wanted me to let you guys know, like, update y'all on what it is that's going on because we haven't really said much. And she wants to make her own personal video, y'all, so it's certain stuff that I won't speak on because it's really not my place. You know, that's my wife, mom. And I want her to come out and tell you exactly what's going on with her mom. But just know it's a very, very sensitive time right now for us. And um, it's just like, I just, I can't even think about how I'm just going to be alone for some time. Like, I can't, like, think about, like, not being with my wife. Like, I can't think about that because I know she need, her family need her. I know that Josie need her. You know, her brothers need her. Miss Crystal, which is her mom, need her so much. And I know I have to come make sure stuff is straight, y'all. I even had our neighbor. We had her even checking in on um, Quinn and stuff. But it's just been a lot going on, y'all. I'm really dirty right now. I got on airport clothes. So just trying to update y'all and tell y'all what's really going on. It's just, it's just a lot. It's like every time you try to build yourself back up from something that like that just happened, it's like something else just hit you. It's like, why is life like this? Like, my baby had just texted her mama and said, I love you. And then right after that, it happened. So it's like, I just took from this situation that life is very, very short. Y'all, please get your loved ones. Hug them. Love them. Like, stop arguing with your peoples. Like, you don't know the day, the time, or the hour. Like, just get right with your people. Please, this is what I'm begging from y'all. Like, even if you my family out there and I've ever did something to you, like, I'm sorry because this, this, it don't feel good. You know what I'm saying? To not know if a person is going to come back, ever come back home, you know? And all you could do is think about the memories and, and stuff like that. Like, everybody knew. Like, if nobody know. Like, we all had a tight bond. And my wife and her mom had a tight bond. Nobody can't tell me nothing. Like, every day. Like, even if they don't go without being on the phone, we feel wrong. Like, it don't feel right. Like, we all loud. We all had good times. Like, Miss Chris, like, you got to say thank you. got to get right. And I know when, because I'm speaking as a tennis sister, you're going to have a full, full recovery. I just want you to know, like, I am blessed to have a mother-in-law like you. Like, you've been so welcoming with me and your family. And... Yeah, I understand. I have my <laughs> I didn't have that for my mama, so this lady just walked with me and her family. She just no matter what we went through in the beginning and how we got to this point, 
it just still don't feel right. Like we always able to call whenever we want to and just talk on the phone about literally nothing. We didn't talk about nothing. And then she'll rush us off the phone and be like, Alright, Ty, I'm gonna watch my show. And we I just want her to get better. We didn't even have our child yet, so she gotta get better. Not for not just for her, she gotta get better for everybody around her because she has so much love, she has so much support. My wife need her. Like I know how I feel to be without a parent, so I just know that my wife need her. Like I know when me and Precious have our kid, that's gonna be our number one support system. She gotta be here. She gotta be here. So we know she gonna get right, y'all. We just gotta stay positive and just keep pushing on um, every day she's showing different signs that she's gonna better. So let's just keep praying that everything just keep progressing. And thank y'all so much for watching this video. We love y'all so much. Please flood the comments with pink hearts. Miss Crystal favorite color. We love you, Miss Crystal. We love you so much. We can't wait to you come back better than ever. And yeah, yeah, I really don't really want to talk much. And like I said it's already been a week where we said I've sat around my wife and her family. And we've all cried and we all talked. That's all we have been doing. So it hasn't been a week. It's, it's really been like five days. Like, I'm going to be honest. I just wanted it all. But now it's. I got to start setting up stuff to go back. I really don't know what I'm going to do up here by myself, y'all. But just have. Like, just, just be really, really nervous and keep calling her, asking her to update. So thank y'all so much. Um. I gotta go. Um, I gotta take me a shower. Like I said, been at the airport. Just came back, so yeah. Now I'm in this big ass house, just me and Queen. Until I don't know. I'm waiting on the updates, so and we'll figure everything out. And I have to get adjustments for Queen because I don't want to leave her again. And we was literally at the whole hospital like all day. Every day we just spent the whole day. Like from literally from the sun up to the sun down, we stayed at the hospital for five days. Um, and if we left, we left the shower. Pre was going days without sleeping, so I need y'all to be on her too about her health. She's been having very bad mind stress, migraine, so we need to make sure that Pre keep her head up, which I know this is a very hard time for her. Y'all don't know, her, know her, 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 how much her mama feel to her. Like, my baby been crying, my baby been hurting. Um, and she, but she's been being so strong at the same time because that's what Miss Crystal will want. So. I, I know I told her I was going to do this video, y'all, but I didn't know this video was going to be like this, y'all. I don't know, like, I really don't know what to say, like, you got to understand, like, this is, this is crazy. We was just getting mad. Right? Right. Right. Right.